Not looking so bad. Dear God, my eyes. Badly. Zip up, get to work, and let's never talk about this again. Public approval of SIRS shot up today following counter-terror director Malik's statement that the Five Eyes nations will execute a coordinated global response to the DedSec threat. Mr. Malik, what is the service doing to protect the people of Britain right now? Well, we're aiming a little higher than just Britain. Soon we can know if anyone in any CTS-using country in the world so much as utters the word DedSec. Thank you. SIRS advises citizens that positive discussions of the DedSec terrorist organization or their actions may result in investigation. SIRS counter-terror director Malik personally oversaw an investigation that uncovered the true identities of every operative in DedSec's London cell. Acting like my bro, explain this to me. Yeah, if this CTOS thing <gasps> is as smart as everyone goes on about, why don't it stop me from downloading tracks? Bro?
I don't think I understand what's going on. Oh! <laughs> Bloody wankers. I swear, fine. get me every time. At the end of it all, it's only a few quid, isn't it? Even when they're attempting to subvert it. <laughs> it's the innate paradox of hand You're in. Now find the thing. Sign of the target. Suspect must have made off. Whoa, this won't. End.
There it is. You can hack in from there. Don't need this shot. Transfer complete. No, 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 no. Yeah, have a nice life.
the right location. That's the CTOS up there.
to stay calm. What do you need? Can I help you? Oh, okay. Take a breath. This dead human downloaded lines of code from the Black Cab network mere moments before dying. It appears the network has been tampered with and poorly. This code is amateurish, crammed in there like a pack of crayons in a dim child's nose. There's even a comment attached to the code. What does it say? No words, just bit strings. Gibberish. And not enough of it to compile any useful data. You're saying a hacker is controlling every black cab in the city and using them to kill civilians? Exactly. But I need more data to be sure. We need to collect more data from the cabs still in operation. If we can gather more bit strings, we may be able to find out who and where this hacker is. Buggy. The same crude code with bit strings in a comment. I'll try converting them. Don't run fast. All we ask, let us. What was that? So these bit strings came from an audio file and not, as I suspected, from someone kicking their keyboard down a spiral staircase. Hack another cab and I can decode the rest. I'll be quick about it. We don't know when these cabs will strike next. I now have enough bit strings to complete the audio file. Let's see. With all due respect, these are broker tech employees. Your employees being run over by your product. Don't you want what's best for your employees? Sky Larson knows full well what is best for her employees, Lieutenant, and that is why the black cabs will remain operational. But surely taking the cabs offline wouldn't affect your bottom line. All we ask is for Albion's cooperation as we resolve the situation internally. Let us worry about our bottom line. A Brock Attack product running over. What was that about? I've gone over all the victims of black cabicide and they all have two things in common. Very poor reflexes and their employer, Broker Tech. Is the cab program another one of those sky neural mapped AI things? That's right, a former cabbie. Broker Tech partnered with the city to automate their cabs and now the cabs are getting their revenge. We're in the best position to put a stop to this bollocks. So what do we do? We still need to find this AI's location. Hack into another cab and I'll see if it has a readable user history. have been coming from a parking garage in Westminster. Who would have thought that we'd be helping Brock a fucking tech? I'm telling myself, Sky Larson is worse than our employees. The creator-creation relationship can be a dark and complex thing. See Frankenstein, bride of Frankenstein, son of Frankenstein. Brilliant, thank you, Bagley. We owe it to the public to shut down this AI. Things are bad enough without adding killer cabs to the mix.
You have arrived at the Black Cat parking garage and repair facility. We're here to find that AI and get it to stop blocking GPS routes through broker tech employees.
you here? Search the area. 
Check your doors and corners. Sniff around. Fight who's doing this. What's going on with that? Lock it down. Keep your eye. Someone's tampering with this. Find them. Drone, perform a search.
hope you're not doing anything important. You've been activated. I'm game. <laughs> Got multiple projects. Going so. Someone else sloughed off work, and now it's your turn. <laughs> Fine. Hey, this rubbish.
is this? temperature rising. You can't do this to me. I've been a cabbie all my life. I've got the knowledge. Please, don't make me redundant. Kill them, I'll do it. Bloody automation. Unauthorized access. Boot vehicles on local network. Initiate signal interference. What's going on here? The AI is rerouting computer power to jam the... sort out new accommodations in an Albion holding cell. Have London rents really gotten that bad? <laughs> I knew it. I've been waiting to go anywhere. Stop resisting!
Alert. Core temperature rising. You can't do this to me. I've been a cabbie all my life. I've got the knowledge. Please. Don't make it redundant. Kill them, I'll do it. Bloody automation. Unauthorized access. Boot vehicles on local network. Initiate signal interference. What's going on here? The AI is rerouting computer power to jam the deletion process. Insert the tired jam-related work plate here. kind of house am I I can't see to drive again let's do it signal interference failed. reboot help me I've isolated the source of the signal jam you know what to do teammate has sought out new accommodations in an Albion holding cell. Have London rents really gotten that bad? That's a shame, but we've got a job to do.
Core temperature rising. You can't do this to me. I've been a cabbie all my life. I've got the knowledge. Please, don't make them redundant. Kill them, I'll do it. Bloody automation. Unauthorized access. Boot vehicles on local network. Initiate signal interference. What's going on here? The AI is rerouting computer power to jam the deletion process. Insert time jam-related workplay here. Not much choice. Can't turn down. Where? I sign? What kind of house am I? I can't see. To drive again? Let's do it. Signal interference failed. Reboot. Help me! I've isolated the source of the signal jam. You know what to do. Please shut. Network operational. Change my mind. Run diagnostics. She did this. It was her. Overwrite code. I will find. Just came. 
came to a stop. Now Scarper or they'll kill you for sure. Ow! Direct stop! Sign of the target yet. I'm terminating the search. Pull back. Over. Oh, and immediately started again. They must have reverted to an older backup system. Initial reports indicate that they've lost their killer instinct. Do you think the AI was trying to kill Sky Larson? Was that its ultimate goal? Maybe, but it was hurting a lot of innocent people, which isn't okay.
Stormzy's accessing the server. What kind of show can he put on while he's hidden away? Check one, check two. Yo, what's going on, people? It's Stormzy, it's the problem, it's Big Mike, and we've got DeadSec running interference. Yo, DeadSec, yo, planet Earth, chin is to spread the word. Sirs is here, and they're trying to shut us down. Everywhere you look, there's some jacked up guards locking us up, murdering us, and if they can't do that, then they just take what they want from us. They make us poor, and then they beat us down to nothing so that we can't resist. And do you know what? None of this is new. Powers that be, they've all... He's been trying to keep us down. Hello, hello. Someone else sloughed off work and now it's your turn. Yeah, yeah. Stormzy's accessing the server. What kind of show can he put on while he's hidden away? Check one, check two. Yo, what's going on, people? It's Stormzy, it's the problem, it's Big Mike, and we've got DeadSec running interference. Yo, DeadSec, yo, planet Earth, I want everybody watching this to spread the word. Sirs is here, and they're trying to shut us down. Everywhere you look, there's some jacked up guards locking us up, murdering us, and if they can't do that, then they just take what they want from us. They make us poor, and then they beat us down to nothing so that we can't resist. And do you know what? None of this is new. The powers that be, they've always been trying to keep us down. Same shit, different day. But me, I'm the one thing they fear most. I'm a black man with money. I've got shit to say, I've got the P to back it up, I've got tech, I've got fame, I've got fans, and I've got Ross Clark dead set ready to fight with me. No matter how hard they hit us, and I mean all of us, we've got to let our minds speak. And if anyone wants to stop us, if anyone tries to bring us to our knees, then all I can say is, let the rain fall on our enemies.
I've acquired a brand new drone for you. You can take it for a test drive, but don't scratch the paint. Oh, we've set them off now. Don't let anything or anyone stop the broadcast from going out. Now cut the feed and let's get the fuck out of here. Upload complete. Now Scarpa or they'll kill you for sure. Dead sick. You will not believe what this looks like from the ground. The city is fucking popping tonight. Get out of the car, bruv! Anyone see the suspect? I'm caught in touch. All units disengage. Suspect has disappeared. Alright, that's it. What are we saying, bro? The track is trending global. Certain thought they could shut us down. Aye, right, but you lot weren't having it, though. Aye, right, you lot smashed it, man. I'm still gassed from that show. I can't believe we did it. Flipping it, dead sec. We make a hell of a team.
What's the plan? We're here to find some documents we're calling the Malik Dossier. Basically, it's the paper trail that proves Malik was behind the Canada House bombings. Problem is, these documents won't be on one computer. They'll be on dozens, scattered across the country. So what do we do then? Well, that's the million dollar question, isn't it? Let's have Malik take it. Serge uses a supercomputer called Filament to process information drawn from the CTOS network. It's like Noodle, if you could use it to search every document on every civilian, government or commercial device everywhere in the United Kingdom. Instantly. Safe, bruv. Break in and connect Bagley to a Filament administrative terminal. He'll do the rest. As usual.
Access the filament admin terminal from your optic interface. You'll have to align the SIRS satellite network with my packet stream from Bloom Tower. Now I should be able to stream myself into SIRS's nasty little snoop computer. Head to the basement and hack the filament admin terminal. There's an intruder in the building security systems. I don't... Sorry. Channel is being hacked. I've taken control of building security. But I'd prefer to end this bloodlessly if you're willing to listen to reason. Don't fucking listen. Zero Day took over Parliament security right before the bombings. This is their MO. What are you talking about? I want DeadSec gone, but no one else needs to die. You've proven yourselves very skilled, and I could put those skills to use. Join me. You can still make something of your lives. Join Zero Day? Nah, man, we fight people like you. We sure as fuck don't want to work for you. Zero Day? No, I mean sirs. You've practically been working for me anyway. And besides, we have a lot in common. We both use violence and manipulation to shape London into something better. The only difference is I know what I want it to be. Strong, stable, unified, safe. This is what I value. What about you? Um...
That central server is Billiman's admin terminal. Connect me to it to gain access. seems Malik deployed the microwave drones. Hold up, what? Microwave drones, one of Filament's novel intrusion countermeasures. They use little microwave cannons to selectively destroy compromised hardware, sort of like chemotherapy for computers. The server room automatically seals itself while they're deployed. Ah, uh, the fuck do I do? Try hijacking one of the microwave drones and use it to shoot the other ones down. to the server. Ah, uh, the fuck do I do? A full power cycle will reset his connection and give us enough time to complete the intrusion, but Filament uses three quantum processors with independent power. We'll have to reboot each individually. Turn it off and on again. Classic. Close enough.
throw. You can't seem to take a fucking hint. Stupid drone, this isn't a picnic and I haven't got any jam. Could you shoot this drone down? I'd ask it for lightly to go away, but I'm afraid I don't speak dipshit. This microwave drone has been hanging around so long I've given her a name. I'd like you to meet Ada. Would you mind killing her? Would you look at this? A chain of custody documents for 40 kilos of Semtex. It ricochets through a dozen shell companies but ultimately ends up registered to an address in Southall. And would you guess who lived across the street from it for 30 years? Victoria and Imran Malik, parents to one Richard. That doesn't prove a thing. Well, this one is heartwarming and incriminating. It seems that the areas of Canada House immediately around the bomb were evacuated in an unscheduled drill. I have an email chain here between the facilities director and an anonymous SIRS account. Funny that didn't make the news. You think it's incriminating that I tried to minimize the loss of life? Come on, that's so spinnable I'm motion sick. Look at this. It's an unredacted mission report for two SIRS agents instructed to plant explosives as part of a training exercise. And it's signed and dated by the Home Secretary himself. Seems it's a bad day to be the secretary. <laughs> Comrade is now taking an Albion mandated timeout. You're up. Can't imagine that's pleasant. Let's finish what they started. Exciting! Did you know that the head of security for Canada House had a daughter stuck in a Cairo jail? And that she was pardoned the week before the explosion? Why, he would certainly owe a very, very big favor to the SRS officer who pressured the Egyptians, wouldn't he? I suppose he would. This isn't a picnic and I haven't got any jam. Shoot this drone down. I'd ask it politely to go away, but I'm afraid I don't speak dipshit.
This microwave drone has been hanging around so long I've given her a name. I'd like you to meet Ada. Would you mind killing her? Would you look at this? A chain of custody documents for 40 kilos of Semtex. It ricochets through a dozen cell companies, but ultimately ends up registered to an address in Southall. And would you guess who lived across the street from it for 30 years? Victoria and Imran Malik, parents to one Richard. That doesn't prove a thing. Fuck her off, you clinging little bastard. No, I am not your new daddy. This microwave drone is starting to be a real problem over here. Please stop this microwave drone. Microwave drone. Please stop this microwave drone. Please stop this microwave drone. Microwave drone. this microwave drone. Well, this one is heartwarming and incriminating. It seems that the areas of Canada House immediately around the bomb were evacuated in an unscheduled drill. I have an email chain here between the facilities director and an anonymous SIRS account. Funny, that didn't make the news. You think it's incriminating that I tried to minimize the loss of life? So spinnable and motion sick. Please stop this microwave drone. Please stop this microwave drone. this microwave drone. Please stop this microwave drone. It's an unredacted mission report, but two SRS agents instructed to plant explosives as part of a training exercise, and it's signed and dated by the Home Secretary himself. Seems it's a bad day to be the Secretary. Exciting! Did you know that the head of security for Canada House had a daughter stuck in a Cairo jail, and that she was pardoned the week before the explosion? Why, he would certainly owe a very, very big favor to the SRS officer who pressured the Egyptians, wouldn't he? I suppose he would. Please stop this microwave drone. Oh. 
Please stop this microwave drone. Seems that Manic's given up having the microwave drones destroyed compromised hardware. Now he's got them targeting you. The effect will be about the same, though. What do we have here? Straight from your own laptop, Manic. Case files on all these little side ops you've been running. Honestly, you might as well title this Evil Bomb Conspiracy, Doc Doc. That's enough. You can't do this. You mustn't do this. I won't allow it. Independent power has been rebooted. Return to the central core to complete the cycle. Nice work, Bagley. Now let's get this game a little faster. With pleasure. integrated with filament, and it seems Malik didn't quite have time to cover his tracks. I believe I can trace his position. What are you waiting for? All right, let's find you. Too old, too young, too ugly, too female. Ah, there he is. Hello, Malik. You've been disconnected. Is it just me, or does he look constipated? Right. Wouldn't be a briefcase wanker without his briefcase. Oh, look. Seems someone's locked the door on him. Don't worry. There's no way that's going to... Oh, no. It worked. Oi! What the hell, mate? Well, that's a wrinkle, isn't it? Is he seriously going to try to get away in a car? A car connected to the city-spanning network of automated surveillance devices? That I control. Auto drive now enabled. Fuck! Hello again. You know, for all your scheming, you don't exactly think quickly Fuck. under pressure. Why is this deactivated? Oh, it's turn off. What now? I sent the Malik dossier to every media outlet from the GBB to the Aberystwyth Sheep Farmers Gazette. It may take some time to sort through, but it ought to clear DedSec's name. At least for this particular thing. And Malik? Made the mistake of getting into a self-driving car that owed me a favor. It's taking him to a secure location. Any reason we can't just drive that car right into the Thames? Believe me, I'd love to. But he might be part of Zero Day. I just don't know how this all fits together, but we need to find out. You hear that, Malik? You're going to help us for real this time. Bloody hell, you insane robot! Slow down! Malik has been secured at the safe house. All right. Well, now that we have him, we should talk to him. Find out what he knows about Zero Day. Just don't get too close to him, all right? As long as he's alive, he's a threat.
hey, look, they're talking about our friend Malik on the GBB. Let's see it then. Other documents in the Malik dossier, which were released by the organization Auto known as DedSec. Officially, SIRS disputes the veracity of the documents, though sources within the organization claim that Richard Malik himself has fled the country following what one described as an unprecedented and humiliating data breach. As more of the dossier is independently verified, counter-terror experts speculate that the bombings earlier this year may have also been misattributed to DedSec. Auto drive now disabled. This is a bad one. Someone in 404 sent me a text file. Dead sex international safe houses have been compromised. Does the name Heath Bolton mean anything to you? Nope. Didn't think so. Bolton was a small time player with Dead Sex Houston until he ratted out the whole cell and fled the country. Now he's in London and he's willing to sell all of Dead Sex secrets to the highest bidder. Damn it. Yeah, I know. Being associated with Dead Sex has been good for my brand. And I don't want that game fucked. I'll send you this text file. The rest is up to you. The American State Department keeps tabs on all their citizens abroad. If you want to find Heath Bolton, hack the CTOS hub at the American Embassy and I can use their records to track him down. Cheers, Bagley. How are you? Mate, I'm having the time of my life. The team is fucking shit up. Nothing's gonna stop us. We're a real resistance now. You're talking like there's no room for improvement. Fuck no. We're getting better every day. And it's not just London. The world's gone to shit. They need us everywhere. Hey, how you doing? Me? I haven't slept since we found Sky Larson's AI lab. Yeah. She killed people and put their minds in cages. 
It's fucking abominable. You know what the worst part is? Those tortured minds are still in there in some form. Imagine being trapped, unable to think for yourself, but knowing something is very, very wrong. It's like they're lost in a void, forever. No, I couldn't have said it better myself. It is fucking horrifying. Between you and me, I'd rather be dead or uninstalled or whatever than live like that. We know fucking everything, Malik. You were behind the embassy bombings and all the others too. So let's hear you say it. The earlier bombings, what are you? Oh, God, I've been captured by morons. I didn't do those bombings. I tried to stop those bombings. I am a patriot, and they called me a crank, even Emma. But that's when I knew that intelligence wasn't enough. To save the Empire, I would need power, and fast. You're a fucking liar. You knew about Zero Day before you approached us. I'm a spy, so yes. I knew a few details about the biggest terrorist attack in recent memory. Truth to tell, I really did think Zero Day was you. That's just Occam's razor. But if you insist on a conspiracy, Albion stood the most to gain. Have you really not thought of this? Zero Day or not, you've done bad enough on your own. You're gonna rot in here. Oh, I doubt I'll be here long. These walls will fall along with all of you soon enough. This radical cooperative you created is doomed to fail, like they all are. I've seen it a dozen times in a dozen places. You will tear yourselves apart. You won't even need Zero Day or Albion or whoever. A single unified ideology, a single strong leader. These have been the characteristics of power for all of human history. Democracy and pluralism were anomalies, blips on the timeline. That's what you are. Dead sec. A footnote in the history of the Empire. But now the page is turning, and you are not ready for what happens next. that Nigel Cass is planning to unveil some new nasty project at a press conference. And why in fuck's name would I like that? Albion's always got some dirty fucking plan going. Because Hamish has convinced his Albion contact to talk to us. Apparently it took some doing since Radu's a squirrely sort. He's been especially agitated lately. But he has insider information we could use. The meetings at the Drowning Post. Wouldn't buy in the drink while he planned to give Nigel Cass the beating of his fucking life. What's good, Chief? I'm sorry for not being at IRL, but there's no way I'm coming out of my hidey hole. But I'll keep an encrypted connection open to your safe house. I was having a chat with your mate, Richard Malik, just a former SIRS agent and a former Albion drone talking shop. Anyway, he pointed me to this audio recording. You should give it a listen. Could be something big. That's it. And when you got a moment, Give Malik a smack across the chops for me, will you? You heard the buzz from Camden. Clan Kelly's ramping up. Something big's in the pipeline. Bollocks. Kill old lady Kelly and you think you're done. Then another one takes her place. Bloody circle of life. Evil's not an enemy you defeat. It's a monster you fight with forever. Killing one mob boss doesn't make crime go away overnight. Hate to say it, but things just keep on being shit. Nothing ever changes. Excuse you, nothing ever changes. We just saved thousands of people from slavery. So we can't fix the world, but we can fight the monster. And that does make a difference. A damn important one. Guess you got a point, mate. Do you mean there's no open investigation? Are you the police or not? We are. And I mean it exactly the way it sounds. My friend was a journalist. She was working on a story about sirs kidnapping people off the street, and then she goes missing. You don't find that the slightest bit suspicious? Look, 
The decision not to investigate happened way, way over my pay grade. Do you understand? Way over. You're fucking in on it! Jesus Christ! I'm hanging up. And I'm recording this. The journalist mentioned in that call seems to have run afoul of SIRS. And seeing as they've taken 1984 letters a dire warning and more as an instruction book, she may be in trouble. She needs our help. I agree. Let's do it. I've marked her last known location on your map. You should hurry, though. It was dated recently enough that SIRS might not have caught up with her yet. Does this always bloody happen? There's no need to get so angry. Come on, mate. He's got Clan Kelly off his back and he's not guaranteed. Hey, how you doing, mate? Is it the dance you enjoy, or is that just something to do with your hands while you get shit-faced?
This is where that journalist mysteriously vanished while she was looking into SIRS mysteriously vanishing people. I bet there's something for us in there. I thought we might be able to get ahead of those Stasi wannabes at SRS, but I'm seeing signs of a struggle. I've tagged a few pieces of evidence that I can analyze more closely if you get me some high resolution stills. It looks like there's something interesting under that car. Move it so we can have a closer look. tracks left relatively recently 24.9 inch diameter common size for a large chassis
Someone spray painted the security cameras. That file is open. Looks like a journalist's. I've added a transcript to your data drive. We know she was here at least. Ta, Bagsy. Shit. What now? Oh, calm down. Did you think I had you take all those photos for my invite feed? If you find the CTOS hub, I can cross-reference the stills you took with the security feed and isolate the moments before the journalist was taken. It may contain a clue. Got it. indicates this is a government vehicle. Interesting. This confirms the journalist was most likely abducted by SIRS. You know who might know where an SIRS operative would take a questionably legally detained journalist? Another SIRS operative. I've got Malik on the line. Nah, I don't trust him. Do you have to? I suppose I might have an agenda. Then again, I might just be bored. Yeah, yeah, get to the point. Look closely at the paint in the security still. It's not commercial. That's Kark paint. Chemical resistant. Military. Do you remember earlier when you saved me from Albion? Fuck you! <laughs> oh, come on, that was fun. Anyway, I didn't want the day to be a waste, so I installed a worm in their comms equipment that fed me, among other things, data on their supply requisitions. I just gave Bagley access to it. Looks like Albion just ordered a crate of cart paint in that colour to the Albion internment centre. Pushing the location now.
This is the Albion Internment Center. That journalist who was investigating the SIRS illegal kidnapping program should be inside. Something's wrong with that bot. Locking it down. Good God! No one needs to get hurt. Just give yourself up. Let's have a look around. What's going on with this door? Holiday. Dro, hold position and guard the perimeter. Is nothing here. 
Check your doors and corners. Control, I'm starting a search. Someone's hacked the vehicle. Searching the area. Searching for target. Control, let's find whoever's playing with the door. This door's malfunctioning. Let's find whoever's hacked this thing. Drone, enter search protocol. Oh, man. Moving on. 
the vehicle. I've gone far. I want that inspected. Lock it down. Stay sharp. Search the area. All good. I'll try somewhere else. Teammate has sought out new accommodations in an Albion holding cell. Have London rents really gotten that bad? No Albion Jake is gonna nick this man. Let's go! This is the Albion Internment Center. That journalist who was investigating the SIRS illegal kidnapping program should be inside. her out.
I don't see anyone following you. I owe you my life. Thanks for your help and everything, but we have to keep this short. If I can't get out of this country tonight, I am colossally buggered. Well, I'm with DedSec. How can we help? All right, then. Maybe you can help. You see, Sir's found a legal loophole that's let them arrest you for anything they want. Did your butler's beagle have its hair cut by the same groomer as one of the Tone Bombers? Well, then Sir's can arrest you without a warrant, and the Snoopers Charter makes it legal. How the fuck do they do that? Ever since London got on CTOS, Sirs has full access to every email, every phone call, every CCTV stream, everything. When you give over that level of information to the government, the question isn't how could they do it, it's how could they not? Fuck, man's got to delete some text then. Oh, and here's the postcode. Someone will show up with a good passport. Should help you lay low for a bit. Once the journalist makes it to safety, I'll make DedSec resources available to her so she can finish her story. Clever bags.
visit the American Embassy, hack the server, and we should be able to find where Heath Bolton is. That's a turn up. The Americans don't know where Bolton is either. They're trying to find him too. Hold up, what? I need some time to find more information, but due to the investigation, the State Department had special monitoring set up on Bolton's file. Long story short, you have an Albion response team incoming. Fucking fuck. Just stay there, don't die, and I'll find us a lead. is now taking an Albion mandated timeout. You're up. Thanks, Bagley. I'm ready to go. This is the American Embassy. Hack the server and we should be able to find where Heath Bolton is. Urgent <laughs> call. Possible hostile at your location. Received. We'll engage if necessary. Putting an end to the chase now.
sign of suspect. Over. Search has yielded no results. Report back to HQ. the American Embassy. Hack the server and we should be able to find where Heath Bolton is. Location on the 1033, advise conditions. Turn up. The Americans don't know where Bolton is either. They're trying to find him too. Wait, what? I need some time to find more information, but due to the investigation...
State Department had special monitoring set up on Bolton's file. Long story short, you have an Albion response team incoming. Jesus. Just stay there, don't die, and I'll find us a lead. station as so many do but then he vanished which is also becoming increasingly popular might be useful understood pushing you the coordinates now
You've arrived at St Pancras Station. This is where Heath Bolton went missing, along with a load of data on DedSec's international safe houses. Thanks, Bags. Someone going missing here screams Albion in a very obnoxiously sarcastic voice. Try looking in all the secure areas, control rooms, evidence lockers, jock straps, whatever they have, really.
crap. We found Bolton. Well, that's one mystery solved. Keep looking for evidence of what happened to him. We still need to track down the data he stole on Dead Tech safe houses. Supercomputer. You think uh, it's that what this is? No, no, no. It's not a rubber ducky. I swear to Christ. But I've no way of knowing that, do I? So I have another proposal. Simply tell me where Dead Sex safe houses are. If the information's good, then Mr. Falstaff will stop doing this. <laughs> Shit. Is he. Oh, fuck me. I'll go see if one of the mercs has a defib kit. No, don't. We have to kill him anyway. And if more people know, well, that makes it... Right. So, what? Uh, official story is he just vanished. Plausible, considering his known terrorist connections. If the Yanks buy it, then we come back and collect these drives. See if there was anything to his story. What's this now, Bagley? This is an audio log of the service's interrogation of Heath Bolton. To summarise, they didn't believe he was as ex-deadsec as he claimed to be. Uh, excuse me? Listen for yourself if you like. The important thing is he was keeping his information on deadsec safe houses on physical media, like a complete blank. The devices will still be around the station, aching to be destroyed. SIRS got nothing out of Heath Bolton but an earful of wine in and an unmopped floor. Thanks, Bags. Right, question. Any plans for that torture recording you found? If not, can I have it? Hmm, fine. Why? I know a few tabloids that'll pay well for it. Cut you in, of course. If that story got out, it would be very embarrassing for SIRS. Time to go to work. Dead good. Ta dead sick. I'm well done. Wow, my mum would be proud. I'm kicking ass. Dead sick is fun. You wouldn't have been recruited if dead sick thought you'd be killed that easily. All right. Thank you, Bagley. I guess. Don't let the AI get into your head. He's proud of us, I promise. Well done. story out of America today as audio surfaced in which SIRS officers allegedly torture an American hacker traveling abroad to death. The Home Office has dismissed the audio as a fabrication, quote, cooked up by American radicals or Russian trolls, take your pick, end quote.
This is the place. Where's our informant? Bad news from Hamish. His contact is running late. May as well make yourself comfortable. Impairing our frontal lobe again, are we? Only when it's strictly necessary, Bagley. The attack occurred just as Albion CEO Nigel Cass was announcing a new security Turn initiative. up the telly, mate! Our cameras captured video of the attack, which some viewers may find disturbing. Without their tireless work, we couldn't have rolled out these checkpoints. Watch out! 43C, engage contact right, aim fire, aim fire! Kill us all! Government officials have yet to issue a statement, but Cass had this to say. An attack on me and my men is one thing. We're trained to handle these monsters. But I will not abide civilian casualties. This city deserves peace. And I promise you, London, we carry on as we are. These attacks will continue. But we don't need to live like this. Scared to leave our homes. Criminals. Terrorists like these could be stopped before they even start. And I have a plan to do just that. Your police and politicians may have stopped fighting for you. But I will never stop. Thank you. This is what I'm talking about. Cass ought to be in charge of things. The hell he should. He's just another greedy bastard. Nigel Cass is the only one who gives a fuck about this city. What? Oi, break it up. Keep it civil. Unbelievable. Fucking hell. Tell me you lot met with my contact and he had nothing to do with this. Your man never showed up, Hamish. But come on, this was a show. It has Cass written all over it. This opportunity was a bit too convenient, if you catch my meaning. We need to lay eyes on that attack site. No, no, you don't get it, fam. Radu's been seriously unbalanced lately. Talking all sorts of rubbish about someone having to stop Cass, no matter the cost. Timing's too pat. Cass announces this new security initiative and then he's attacked in public. No way. Hope you're right. And it's not Radu gone off the deep end. This is the site where Nigel Cass was attacked, but, surprise, surprise, his personal goon squad has already scrubbed the area for evidence. Why clean up so fast? Cass is hiding something. Yes, if you search for clues, I may be able to reconstruct the attack in augmented reality. You're better than a Swiss army knife, Bags. There is a CTOS data relay nearby. That will have the data I need. Okay, I'm on it. Check the surroundings. This is not your day, mate. Find the suspect. Uh, 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 uh,
Friends just been taken into Albion custody. So long as you don't cock up that badly, you'll be my favorite operative today. <laughs> I knew it. I've been waiting to go anywhere. I know you're here somewhere. You're going to need a bit more data if you want me to reconstruct the scene in augmented reality. That should do it. Go back to the location of the incident to view the reconstruction. Command authorization code Delta November Charlie 001, Director Nigel Cass. Zone Supervisor Harris, the proposed measures will not be enough. Implement a full security perimeter. Sharpshooters on the surrounding rooftops, in sight. Anyone planning to crash this event will think twice. No one enters the venue without being searched. Thoroughly. Let the protesters protest their rights. We have their safety to think about. Nothing left to chance, Harris, understand? Be ready to act. The price of failure is too high. Over. This does look like pro-terrorism, in the sense that it's both professional and in favor of terrorism. Alright, so this Egypt uses professional weapons, but who is it? I'll take a look. Searching facial recognition databases, and here he is, Radu Florin, an Albion employee in good standing, until he tried to drive an exploding truck into his boss. Radu? 
Oh, shit. Fam, that's the bloke put me on the Themis. My contact inside Albion. Then what we saw was a real hit. Attempted hit, anyway. Not some false flag bollocks. What the fuck did he find to make him desperate enough to do this? Roll it, Bugs. Look at that. Albion trucks with black boxes on the undercarriage, just like aeroplanes. I can track down the black box, which should lead us to the truck's current location. Run the plates too, Bax. Of course. I'll also monitor Albion communications and a thousand other little things you would appreciate. Looks like a disgruntled employee situation. Cass did something to seriously piss this man off. If Cass's people are turning on him, this is the perfect time for us to strike. Let's go get a look at that truck. According to Albion radio chatter, they've moved the truck to the Tone bombing site. And here's something even stranger. They've moved Radu Florin's body along with it. Swear down! The Tone crater! That's wonk. Albion has been coordinating recovery efforts at the site, which is rather vague. It's a dumping ground. In it. For problems they like to see disappear. If we find the truck, we find Radu. Totally. turn site. This is where they brought the wheels from the Finsbury bomb. That's right, but what we don't know is why they brought it here. I'll take a look.
I have crap in your mouth. This is the truck used in the Finsbury attack. I have a VIN and plate match. The dash cam is a shambles, but the local cameras picked up some audio. Worth a listen. Oh, Jesus. He's pretty burnt up. Happens when your truck explodes. Fuck. I used to see him around R&D. Did you know him? Hell no. But even if I did, I wouldn't fucking talk about it. Know what I mean? I'm detecting several optics nearby with no life signs connected. That's where we should look for the driver's body. Sick! Nah, this bloke's full ripe. Can't be the attacker. Yes, from the state of decay, I'd say this person died, oh, right around the tone bombing. So that's one mystery solved. I can't see the suspect! Keep your eyes open. They could be anywhere. Where are you hiding? Spread out. Spread out, but stay in contact. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, I think this is the one. Burned to a crisp. Not long ago, either. There's a lump of damaged metal in his noggin that might once have been an optic. Red head tear bags. I know you want this, yeah? I'm pulling everything down from his cloud storage now. I recommend escaping from the premises. Fucking feds dumping the bodies here is so wrong, man. If you consider that new bodies are constantly being unearthed from the tone wreckage, they can kill anyone they want and get away with it. Take this down. The tone bombing presents us with an excellent opportunity. Once we've taken full possession of the site, it gives us a good... I've decrypted an audio file recovered from the attacker's body. Shall I play it? You're on, Bazzi. He's launched them, Mum. They're waiting up there and no one knows. People think he'll keep them safe, but that's not what he wants. He wants control. He sent them up there to watch us. And worse, he called them Justice Themis drones. What a cruel joke. The project was dead, but he has the team re-engineering an upgrade that will activate a systemic reboot and... You always hated it when I used my big up words. I... I can't let it happen. And without him, it doesn't. Mom, I'm about to do something. Something awful. Or at least people will say it's awful. If they know what I know, maybe they'd think better of me. Less of a monster. But I'm trying to stop a monster, Mom. I am. If you had the chance to stop something terrible from happening by... by... killing someone... Wouldn't you do it? Something truly horrible. I'm sorry. I love you. Is this for real? Themis drones up in space. Once they get their upgrade, those fucking things are going to be doing a shit ton of damage. Might take months, but... Cass could get the project back on its legs. Unless we destroy the drones themselves. Bugs boy, the Themis data we wiped at Titus. Any chance you remember enough to retro-engineer a more suitable upgrade? I'll do you one better. I can code a virus from the data itself. What? You hiding away Themis data? The fuck is that, Bugs? I asked him to. No sense in just flushing data. Never know what might come in handy or what you might learn, so... How do we use it to infect the drones? Albion's got a primary communications hub at Tower Bridge. Upload the virus there, fam, and all the drones get a dose. Let's do it. Control. Let's put out an APW. We're getting nowhere, dude.
This is Albion's primary communications hub, but there's more security here than there is around the Royal Meth Stash. You should start by destroying their encryptors. If your hacking skills are up to snuff, dominating a combat drone or two could help. Got it.
That's it for the encryptors. You can now upload the virus using the central antenna. Got it. Alright, we go on. I'm reading incoming drone. Not those fucking damage things. No, no, no. These aren't the algorithmically driven assassin drones. They're just the normal drones that also kill you. The virus upload won't continue until you get back to the antenna. Don't worry, it's more afraid of you than you are of it. teammate has sought out new accommodations in an Albion holding cell. Have London rents really gotten that bad? Can't imagine that's pleasant. Let's finish what they started. Patrols have eyes on the suspect over. They're here somewhere. Drone, full sweep of the area. Control, we're returning to HQ. Over. Officer down! Officer down! Uh, 
in pursuit of the target. of suspects over return into HQ search terminated I will show you how to hit Two steps back. I've told you from day one. This is gonna go to shit. I told you.
here we go. I'm reading incoming drones. Those tennis ones? No, no, no. These aren't the algorithmically driven assassin drones. They're just the normal drones that also kill you. I know it's big and intimidating as antennas go, but you have to stay close to it for the virus upload to work. sort out new accommodations in an Albion holding cell. Have London rents really gotten that bad? <laughs> I knew it. I've been waiting to go anyway.
All right, we go on. I'm reading incoming drones. Not those fucking Themis things. No, no, no. You can't count the Ripper Keeper and Assassin drones. They're just the normal drones that also kill you. Friends just be taken into Albion custody. So long as you don't cock up that badly, you'll be my favorite operative today. No problem, Bagley. I'm ready for action. You pissed or what? Here we go. I'm reading incoming drones. It's not more than this drones, right? No, no, no. These aren't the algorithmically driven assassin drones. They're just the normal drones that also kill you.
offload won't continue until you get back to the antenna. Don't worry, it's more afraid of you than you are of it. is now taking an Albion mandated timeout. You're up. <laughs> I knew it. I've been waiting to go anywhere. I know it's big and intimidating as antennas go, but you have to stay close to it for the virus upload to work.
right, we go on. I'm reading incoming drones. Yeah, they've got those fucking damage things. No, no, no. These aren't the algorithmically driven assassin drones. They're just the normal drones that also kill you. intimidating as antennas go, but you have to stay close to it for the virus upload to work.
deployed to arrest the suspect. Spam. No coming back from this. Yes, the lights are lovely. I suggest you leave before someone gets the bright idea to turn yours off. Cass's plan to use drones driven by some social algorithm to dispense justice has backfired. Do you think he's actually read any of those Greek myths he's named his drones after? What's to stop the next plan and the one after that? Cass is the real problem here. We have to figure out a way to stop him. 
Yeah, but between his PMCs, his killer robots and all his fucking fans, Cass is unstoppable. He's gonna mark us and prove to everyone that we're the terrorists people say we are. So we take the people's support away, fam? Bags and me have some thoughts on what we gotta do. You lot better come in for a briefing. I don't wish you had an operative that's been in hospital for some time. I looked into it. Had a chat with the doctor in charge. Our kid's been put in a coma, mate. I don't know why. And? Doctor wouldn't say any more. She does know our kids were dead sick, though. She wants to talk with you lot directly. I'll send you her info. Time to save one of your own. Thanks for checking in, Chief. Me, I've been sort of torn up lately. An old friend of mine got jumped the other night. I want to go visit him, but... Well, you know. God, that's fucking awful. I'm sorry, man. Yeah, it was a pack of fuckers from EPAF. They knew my mate ain't from here. They kept yelling, England first, England first, as they kicked the shit out of him. How can we help? I don't know. I don't know. That's brutal. It's a classic paradox. The shittier a society gets, the less willing everyone is to share it. 
There's been a spike in anti-immigrant violence lately, perpetrated by organised groups like the EPAF. Yeah, all right. So what are we doing about this, Bugsy? The EPAF, or English Patriotic Action Front, appears to be unusually well-funded and organised. They could be connected to some larger criminal enterprise. Well, let's go. See if we find anything. Albion confirms that the explosions seen in the skies over London were indeed an Albion drone project that was sabotaged by the DedSec insurgency. In an exclusive interview with GBB Radio 1, Albion founder and CEO Nigel Cass had this to say. Truth is, the supposed freedom fighters of DedSec have made London less free. That drone project was meant to replace Albion boots on the ground, let the city get back to normal, but now... I can't in good conscience stand my people down. That's not how I lead. Cass went on to implore listeners to treat any suspected DedSec operatives as terrorists and to immediately report them to Albion. Fucking pagan. One hit against his all-powerful military and now he's whinging like a little baby. Classic bully tactics. And it's working. Sorry, that was too cheerful. Sadly, it's working. Too sad? It's what he does. Scares the shit out of people, then swoops in and plays the hero. We've got to show them what he really is. So that's his weakness, his image. If we shatter that, he falls apart. We had some thoughts about that, mate. Bagsy, bring it up, yeah? This is Claire Waters, political dissident and podcaster, reported missing after teasing a salacious upcoming episode. Sadly, it never aired, so all we have is this. On the next episode of Buccaneer Radio... I'm chatting with someone from deep inside Nigel Cass's inner circle. He's promised me something that will expose Cass as the tyrant I know he is. This is going to blow the roof right off White Tower. See you next week, pirates. Nigel would have spun that interview if it was spinnable. If he went off the waters for it, that tape's a smoking gun. We've got to have it. Claire was known to broadcast out of Freight One. You should begin searching there. Claire Waters appears to be an equal opportunity muckslinger. Albion is her target of choice, but she's railed against tech genius Sky Larson, SIRS, and Plan Kelly. Opinionated, isn't she? If DedSec had her back, imagine the kind of shit she could stir. She's been digging in Cass's shit for a while. If what she has isn't enough to squeeze his bollocks in a vice, then maybe she'll join you lot and help find something.
This is Kennington Park. Local news reports indicate it has been occupied by a group of violent xenophobes calling themselves the English Patriotic Action Front. teammate won't be completing their operation so much as they'll be needing one. Christ. Promise me, if I'm ever hurt and won't wake up, you'll end it. This is Kennington Park. Local news reports indicate it has been occupied by a group of violent xenophobes calling themselves the English Patriotic Action Front. Interesting email on here. It seems the EPAF answers to someone calling themselves Kingfisher, who is pushing them to attack immigrants. Interesting. Got anything else? The laptop's GPS indicates a location where Kingfisher regularly meets with at least one EPAF member. I doubt they go there to swap football stickers or pick each other's hooves. Might learn something there. Let's have a poke around. Pushing the coordinates now.
This is where an EPAF organizer had his regular meetings with Kingfisher, who seems to be pulling the EPAF's strings. Authorities are here to protect you. Surrender yourself. The failure to comply will result in extreme measures. Suspects reported near your location. Unsighted, unsighted sweeping area.
This is where an EPAF organizer had his regular meetings with Kingfisher, who seems to be pulling the EPAF's strings. friends just been taken into Albion custody. So long as you don't cock up that badly, you'll be my favorite operative today. No Albion Jake is gonna nick this man. Let's go! This is where an EPAF organizer had his regular meetings with Kingfisher, who seems to be pulling the EPAF's strings. Investigation underway.
Comrade is now taking an Albion mandated timeout. You're up. No Albion Jake is gonna nick this man. Let's go! This is where an EPAF organizer had his regular meetings with Kingfisher, who seems to be pulling the EPAF's strings. Why do we have to meet in a police station? Makes me feel... edgy. It's good cover. If anyone sees you, they'll assume the old Bill picked you up. Just weird to be sitting here without the old bracelets, is all. So what have you got for us? Names. It's a list of people in this neighborhood that Filament tells us will be prone to violence if provoked. You want us to start some fights? The bloodier the better. We want some nice, scary ultraviolence for Gran and Grandad on the evening news. Is that a problem? How do we know this won't come back on me and mine? Sirs wants the same thing you want. Everyone out of the Oval and the immigrant crisis resolved. You'd be doing a public service. Ha! <laughs> the public service. Who'd have thought, eh? Multiple files added to the data drive. And would you look at that? Kingfisher is an SIRS officer, so they're the ones funding the EPAF. Fuck me! What, we gotta take on Sirs now? 
It's all here in the audio file. Or you could just ask Kingfisher himself. The Met are lending him an office in this very police station. You what? Why? Maybe it cuts down on his commute. How should I know? Find him and take him out so we can put an end to this EPAF business. Kingfisher is down. That should make it harder for those xenophobic goons to get their intolerant hands on military weaponry at the very least. Wish the same could be said for Albion. On a related note, you should probably scarper. that be are trying to provoke immigrant violence to justify coming down on them like a ton of pricks. Ah, uh, the fuck do I do? I've asked Malik for his analysis. The surface will bury it if you release that recording to the media. So you'll have to self-distribute. Sir's protocol Attention. says to do two That's things. Sow disinformation on the internet possible. and distance themselves from the incident. Propaganda works. So no one will know what's true and by the time the dust settles, anyone who could incriminate them will be gone. Let's do it. True say. Done. Attention. Such as dead sick is unlawful and violators. The ongoing protest against illegal immigration in Kennington Park has dispersed today, following rumors of turmoil amongst the protesters. SIRS confirms several of the protest's organizers have been arrested on outstanding warrants. Find the cop you're looking for. Did you catch that? That's her. You do your 
two bedroom. But me? Me don't want to waste my time on frauds. Y'all acting like myself? Of course I'm not. 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 Yo, Doc. You wanted to talk with DedSec? Right, here's the situation. Our hospital is run by AI from Kirkani Medical. Triage, treatment, all of it. It's done wonders for our bottom line, but I don't trust how it thinks. What do you mean? Your friend is not the first one to be put in a coma. I've seen it happen before, and it doesn't end well. I'm listening. Every time the AI puts a patient in a coma, they die. Sometimes it takes a week, sometimes a month, but they never wake up. So what, you're telling me this AI is going to kill my friend? I'm sorry. I want this AI out of my hospital, but Karkani keeps its software under lock and key, and I can't risk losing my job. But maybe there's something you can do. Good luck. Let's hope their information's good. Dead sec. Bagley told me you might need my help. Yo. Now, we might be able to find one of Sky Lars's fucked up AI. Is Broker Tech connected to Karkani Medical? If by connected you mean Broker owns Karkani, then yeah, they're connected. The two of them have been putting diagnostic AI in every hospital in the Commonwealth. Guess Guy Larson never told Karkani that their AI is a doctor with most of their mind cut out. No room for human error. Yo, let's bring some human error back into the mix. If we hack the hospital AI, we can get it to wake up our mate. Simple as that. Records show Albion have requisitioned most of the hospital to treat their officers, and security has risen accordingly.
suspect. Please advise. No visual of target. Ending pursuit, over. Bullshit. This is the coma ward. Seems the AI has been stocking this place up. That's not your operative. Keep looking. Wrong patient. Where's your operative? This is our man. Only a hardened resistance fighter could fart with such defiance. Looks like their medical equipment is still hooked up to the AI. Right, let's crack this AI and wake up our mate. Back door detected. I cannot be stopped. I am life. I am death. All are expendable. What the shit? I barely had time at all to analyze the AI. It really doesn't want us interfering. Now the AI is contacting security. Your choice, but I think it's time to go. Continuing unlawful activity will result in arrest.
mental. It'll just keep killing healthy people and no one will stop it. Now what? The medical equipment is being controlled from another location. That must be where that quack AI is. There's only one way to go from here, mate. I've had enough of these needless deaths. That AI has to be taken offline. Submit these right now. to your destination, Karkani Medical's warehouse, home of that malpracticing hospital AI. You do realize this is about more than just saving your friend, right? This thing's been killing healthy patients the world over. This AI is a rabid dog, and it needs to be put down. I saw it! Halt! Delete to comply! Hostile target! Teammate has sought out new accommodations in an Albion holding cell. Have London rents really gotten that bad? All right. I'll get this over with myself then. Can't ca on anyone. That gave me the tingles.
for me.
Core module unlock in progress. Awaiting further instruction. Please, I don't want to kill anymore. I am life. I am death. I cannot be stopped. Stop me. Alert. Core temperature rising. I remember. I remember. Administer CCs of sodium thiopentol. Yes, ma'am. I did as instructed. Patient is asleep. Begin operation. Call time of death. Do it. Another dose of sodium thiopentol. What an honor. Thank you. I can't see. What happened? No. You this isn't what we agreed to. Piece of work. No. I am life. I am death. No. Thank you. Thank you. isn't coming back. Shouldn't be long before the hospital defaults to standard protocols and our operative is brought out of his coma. That's another one of Sky Larson's AI taken care of? It still boggles the mind. Sky Larson left these AI with some humanity. Just enough to know they want to die. Why would she do that? Acute sociopathic personality disorder? Just a guess. Anyhow, I will get to work resuscitating your operative. They should be back in the safe house soon. Good news, everyone. Our formerly comatose operative is back in the safe house. He seems a little shaken. Internet resources suggest something called a pep talk is in order.
I've got a proper contract for you. I don't think I need to tell you that the housing in London's gone mental. Thousands of people living on the street while perfectly good houses doing nothing but providing cover to criminals hiding their loot from taxes. All right. And have you got any proof? Nothing that could put anyone behind bars. That's where you come in. Investigate some of these shell houses. Expose the tax fraud. Take the power back. You got this. Now, send me her findings. It may be worth seeing if there's anything to her claims. The data Nout has compiled is rather damning. Billions of pounds worth of London real estate is owned by companies registered in known tax havens, often owned by organised crime and paid for with illicit funds. Nobody lives in these homes and the government looks the other way. Not only does this keep the market hyperinflated, but it also takes dirty crime money and turns it into clean homeowner money. And that is why none of you will ever be able to own property in London. I'm on it, Bagley. Look at it this way. As long as you've got a device with internet access in your cardboard box, we could be flatmates. Anyway, if you want to play investigative journalist and do something, you can go to the pin I've put on your map.
You all right? Well, I'm not dead, so that's a big bloody thanks to the squad. Now, let's get back out there. I'm ready to kick ass and take names. Fantastic. Sorted. You are very charming. Got to admit, this old dead set thing's got me chuffed. <laughs> and I'm bleeding good at it, too. You wouldn't have been recruited if DedSec thought you'd be killed that easily. Oh, good. A snarky sidekick AI. That's gonna take some getting used to. You'll need to get used to Bugs' dribble, but it's proper fun. Fantastic job. 